Hello, monsters about here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires and a brand new campaign for supporters. Of course, the first episode's free to everyone, and then I jack up the price. Um, as Malekith. No now, that's right, of course, Malekith was to be the Phoenix King. And. Okay, good. And uh, that all went a little bit to pot, so he entered his goth phase. I'll be honest, his goth phase has gone on for a little while, and he's managed to... He's gathered up a, a, a group of goths, and they've all gone off to go and sulk in, in the snow, which is fine, and everyone is happy with that. And um, they also like spikes and slavery. Which is basically goths, I think. I'm, I'm fairly sure goths are pro spikes, mascara, and slavery. If... If, if if I know my goths, and I think I do. Anyway, so uh, Malekith, of course, is the most boring of the Dark Elves because his, his faction traits, while good, are incredibly fucking vanilla. Allegiance gained 50% with Dark Elves. We get more diplomations with Dark Elves. We get more loyalty for new recruits. And we get an upkeep reduction for Blackguard of Nagarond, uh, Dread Spears, Bleak Swords, and Dark Shards. That's not to say they're bad traits, they're just very boring. Malekith himself has also got a fairly boring trait. Witch King of Nagron is going to give him more control, less construction costs, and less enemy leadership. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. They're pretty good. It's just very boring. We also have Hagreen. Yes, exactly. We've got Hagreen. She is cunning. Could be worse. Uh, occasionally, I do, I, I do like start a few campaigns... Just to get a general lay of the land. Like I start the campaign, get a general lay of the land, restart it. Um, Hagreen did have, I think she had like a plus melee attack and melee defense trait, which I was like, well, why the fuck would you want that? You're not a scrapper. Look at you. You're barely wearing any clothes, madam. In the snow. It's cold here at the moment. I'm wearing a heated vest. That's what you need. Heated boob plate. That would sort you out, wouldn't it? Keep those nice and to toasty. Anyway, so we start off. At war with the scale. Oh, yes, yeah, a supporter campaign. So, because everyone always goes, what happened to that campaign? Right, the answer is, it's a supporter campaign. So, therefore, the Patreon and YouTube supporters will be able to watch this campaign as it progresses. They will get to vote on polls, all that kind of good stuff. If you want to do that, then you can either go to join YouTube membership, or you can go to Patreon. Links in the description below. Fine. If you don't want to do that, that's fine. The campaign will be out once it's finished, basically. So, you can watch the first episode for free, and you don't have to do anything. And then eventually, it'll come out. But if you're like, holy shit, Malekith is my jam. That's right. I like a goth with third degree burns. If that, for some reason, is your vibe, and it's quite niche, but I don't judge, then you can join either Patreon or YouTube, and you can watch the campaign and vote in polls and all that kind of good stuff. Right, so we're going to put Hagreen in. Good-o. Yep, yep, good, right. Malekith is going in that army. We're going to go and beat up some rats. No, I won't, won't. Uh, I'm going to upgrade this one first, because that just makes sense. What do we get for that? Do we get uh, Lure of the Pale Queen? Oh, yeah, that's garbage, isn't it? Is it bad? What does that do? Cannot move. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Now, what I would like to do is potentially get a nice core of settlements and then just be friends with the other Dark Elves so that I can basically boss them around and make them do what I want so I don't have to... Malice. What the Who fuck are you doing? My audience? Me. Your boss. The big kahuna. The big cheese. Welcome. The Black Court will hear you now. Okay, give me a fucking trade At agreement. Once. Thank you. Right, uh, we're, we're basic. Right, yeah, so we're going to make friends with as many of the Dark, Dark Elf factions as possible. Get them on side and basically Success use them to do our dirty this. work so that I don't have to do all the heavy lifting because fuck, fuck, I cannot be bothered. People are going to be like, oh, you want to confederate everything? No, I don't. Too much admin. Too much admin. Too annoying. Can't be asked with the paperwork. Do you know how often I have to sign my name if I own all of this bullshit? Too much. Don't care. We'll get the other. We'll give the other dark elves shit. Keep them happy. Get them to do our stuff. Then they can throw armies, and we'll be fine. I, mean, I won't have to. It, it's fine. We'll do that anyway. Good. Okay, so we're gonna go kill Scabbers. Scabbers. That sounds adorable. Unfortunately, his army is dog shit. It's barely worth actually fighting, but we will because it's a brand new campaign. Of course, the first battle of a brand new campaign has that new campaign battle smell, which in this case is, it, it's kind of like. It, it's like burnt toast. Or ham. It's very green, isn't it? Not in a good way. Just green. Super green. Oh, now, of course, they will be using menace from below. 
Unfortunately, they're using it directly on my bleak swords, who are at best adequate, but they'll be fine, I guess. You have the black guard. They're a little bit better. They got armor piercing. And of course, you've got the crossbows, who are one of the best dark, dark elf units because they are armor piercing, ranged, can arc. They're the whole killing caboodle. Well, of course, we've got Malekith just wading through rats. How many times? I mean, he's got his sword in his shoulder there. How many times do you think he gets it caught on the horn? He's like trying to swing it and he gets it like. Again. It's. It's just wildly impractical headgear, isn't it? He's going to get caught on so many things. Like, you got, the peripheral vision is fucked for a start. It's not going to be difficult to sneak up on him, is it? I think it must weigh a ton as well. Like his neck. It must be a constant neck pain. It's a disaster. Anyway, so go on, Jarrett's coming in from the flank. Start charge bonus? 50. Uh, for Chariot, I mean, are their armors good? They they do have... Do they go out of control? They cause fear. Their primal instincts. They cause less than 50%. They get more charge bonus. I mean, that's good. It's interesting. But Chariot's... I don't know. They're not very good in Warhammer, are they? Not that good. Anyway, we are basically just holding the line, letting our crossbows pick off Skaven units as they advance. Because the Skaven will run away, they will rally, they will come back, and you don't want to get yourself pulled off by Skaven. Mark my words, it's happened many a time to me, and it's, it never ends well, it's never a happy ending. Get, get in an awkward position and they're all over you, like a rash, or rats. Either way, the chariots are proving to be semi-useful at chasing down units. I mean, personally, I would prefer a unit of cavalry because they would do basically the same thing and be way easier to use. But, have you lost one? Oh, no, there's still four. Where's the other one? One, two, three. Oh, there you are. I can, couldn't see you. You're just doing, you're doing wheelies. You're not in Sainsbury's car park at 3 a.m. Come on. Anyway, the enemy general is causing some issues using ma oh, use ma oh god, he actually used magic effectively on me. What a, what a dick. Never mind. Anyway, Malak is now charging across. There we go. He's gonna. Nope. He's. Get him. Get him, Malak. Get him. Get him on the run. No, you give him up. That's fine. No, that's fine. I understand. It was close enough. Anyway, uh, good. Well, I mean. I'll keep coming back and I'll keep shooting them and eventually they will run away for good. And of course, because this is the first battle of a brand new campaign, this army's dead for reasons I don't really understand. But it's just how that works most of the time. I think there's a few that don't actually work that way. But for the most part, your first, like, lined up fight just dies at the end anyway. There we go. See? Army losses. Taking effect. Jesus, really? No, you don't. What are you going to do with their tails? What are you, I mean, literally, you've got a bunch of rat tails. What next? What's the next plan? You're going to do some arts and fucking crafts? It's horrible. You don't want those things. They're probably riddled with plague anyway. Slaves. I think it's probably probably sensible, isn't it? Oh, we got a standard discipline. Um, makes you unbreakable, and also gives you leadership. I think it only give. I, I've got I've got some mods. I've got Rebanner two on. I'm just gonna resolve that because I fucking hate flying Skaven. Um, did you just say smell my poppers? I don't even know what that means, but like it's like. Okay, so a little bit more growth. Uh, we'll pop that down as well. It's only a two, two province settlement. Didn't this used to be more? I'm sure this used to be a three province settlement. Why did he get downgraded? Anyway, more dark shots. Um, so we've got Grombrindle. Around here some. Is Grombrindle around here? I'm fairly sure he's around here some. He's around here somewhere, isn't he? 
You like down here? It's down here, doesn't he? I'm fairly sure he's down here. Anyway, so we've got rats in them La Hills. Obviously, uh, Grom Brindle's going to hate our guts. We've got Valkyr up here. She's going to hate our guts. So I'm going to go with Root Marcher to start off with. Hag Green, you're going to get Fireball because that's all you can do at the moment. We're going to get more Dark Shards because that is the way forward. Why don't... Oh, of course we don't have... It's like, why don't we have um, global recruitment? Of course we don't, because we need the, we need the Black Arcs that, don't we? Right, yes. More growth. Good. Commandment here. Also good. Let's go with... Gr gr yes, because we can, we can use slaves to rush settlements. Now, that would cost too much at the moment. I, well, you know, we are making slaves. Like, there's no reason not to, right? We could rush this. Fuck it. Let's do it. Let's rush it. That's right, you heard me. I'm going to rush it. Rush it real good. Um, artisan house, that will reduce our slaves a little bit, but it will give us more income as well. And we can also upgrade to the halls of mustering. Yeah, that's right. We can muster with more fervor. I love a good muster. Nothing? No events? Okay. Oh, fuck. Fucking beastmen. Oh, God, I hate beastmen so much. Well, no, I love them. But I hate the fact yes. that they cause me pain. Is she losing five slaves a turn? Ooh. Do I want to upgrade you? Probably not, actually. It's going to use more slaves, isn't it? Uh, how much slaves does that use? Is 15. That is, I'll, lose, I'll, lose, I'll lose 10 more slaves. I'll be losing 15 slaves a turn. Will you sit there and die? I'm guessing not. If I declare, I need to declare war on you when you're nice and close. I think. Um Drukis, Supreme Master of Cruelty. Mm-hmm. Where's Halabron? The blessings of Cain be upon you. God, Very bloody well. Cain of yours bride. Jesus, can you imagine? My let us not allow Have you killed you. anyone today? Oh no, I'm just really tired. You haven't killed anyone? What the fuck did I marry you for? Oh. Absolute nightmare. Oh poor, I feel really bad for Cain now. Jesus, having to deal with that bullshit. <sighs> right, um, the Altar of Ult uh, right, we, we, yeah, okay, yeah, so you've got, uh, we, if we can take the Altar of Ultimate Darkness. Um, probably want some more foot troops. Uh, are you guys, are you guys chill? You're getting more chill. Right, I, I feel like... I mean, we're in, we're in the snow, so they're very chill anyway. But I feel like if we can just get everyone on side, right? If we can get all the Dark Elves all singing from the same hymn sheet. And we are, you know, king of the Drewkey. So it's certainly... I don't want an outpost. I don't need an outpost, to be honest. Um, do not tell me... Nope, that's the wrong one. Wait, no, is that one. Hang on. Too far out. There we go. Do not tell me about outposts available. Upgrade. Or unassigned skill points because I fucking hate being reminded of all of those. If I want to upgrade my lord, I'll let you know. Don't tell me. Okay, we're going for the Altar of Ultimate Darkness. Uh, is this going to be a Skaven map? Because if so, yeah, fuck that. I'm just going to... I really, I really hate that map. Like, with a, with a burning passion. I hate that map. Got a sacrifice to cat, do we? Hang on. Right. What do we got? Sacrifice to cat. Right. Casualties capture both battle, income for post battle. I mean, all that is very good. Dark conduit, lovely. That is a good right. Black arc, great. This one, fine. Sacrifice to a carty, okay. I mean, I, will aid you. I mean, it's you know, it's it's there. Uh, we're gonna go sheath master because I'm gonna be honest. Having more ammo for our boys. Super useful. Also, I think we should exterminate the dwarfs before they become a persistent threat. No, I'm gonna if anything, I'm gonna increase them, mate. You you just wait. My provocations will know no fucking bounds. I'm also gonna get a burning head, because everyone loves burning head. Obviously, if you're experiencing burning head, speak to your GP if you can get an appointment. Win one battle against the High Elves. I'll get the Armour of Midnights. That's good. Overlord. 
Oh, fuck me. Why? How have you got a stack already? Oh, but you're marching. This would probably be the best time to kill you. But I'm not going to. Not just yet. Uh, let's upgrade you. You have got public order trouble. We could fix that, but it would cost me 200 slaves. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna hold off. We're gonna... Right, we're gonna... Oh, this would be a really good time. But they will outnumber me. Let's hold off. It might be the better option to go and attack him. I'm really... I'm filled with, with self-doubt and imposter syndrome. He's fucked off. Which is good. But also... That would have been a great time to kill him. I wonder if I declare war on him, whether he'll come this way again. Could be an option. However, I guess you are a bigger problem. Okay. Uh, you know, fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. We're coming down. Fuck it. I'm gonna gonna kick your ass. Kick your ass. Do not vex us Hopefully, get some lovely slip. What's battle is business? Income from post battle loot. Income from that one. Sure. Uh, that's more control. That would be nice. Income from ports. Casualties. Oh, you know what? Casualties captured post battle. Yes. Because the more casualties we have, the more slaves we have. And after using a lot of them to build my nice new settlement capital, I'm kind of in the need for some more. Oh, Ron Brindle's back. Um, you know what? I'm going to attack these guys. You're going to run away. Oh, fuck. Maybe not too far? Okay, that's fine. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, that's fine. Peric victory. All right, but what you got? Oh, for fuck's sake. I really hate this map. I hate... Why do you even... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This isn't a capital, is it? Oh, it is a capital. Fuck. I was tricked. Oh, I really, I really hate that map so much. It's so boring. Oh, I can't do that. That's too, that's too much. Oh, bollocks. Okay. Okay, here we go. Yeah, no, I really, really do hate the siege map. It's... I mean, if I'd fought the first siege, this would be the second time we would have seen it in about ten minutes. And that's why it's bad. Because it's fucking everywhere. Every single Skaven province capital is this fucking map. You don't even have the slight variety of the rest of them. Like, I mean, okay, at least, you know, s s you might get the same one that looks like a high elf city and a dwarven city. It might have the same general style, but at least it looks vaguely different. Skaven maps all look the same, and they all look like this. Green and brown, and that's your... And uh, all the colours in between those two colours. You have green and brown, and every shade of greeny brown between them, and that's it. That's all you get. Suck it up. Anywho, so so we are using our chariots to just sort of like run down. Again, I would, if, if I had a unit of, say, um, what's the good, what's the good Cold One Cavalry? The Dread Knights. If I had a unit of Dread Knights, way better than those things, right? I would happily trade that unit of Dread Knights for chariots. Chariots are bad. Okay, of course, they're spawning yet more rats up in my hole. I guess, and bringing in the chariots to try and stop that and stop them from eating my goddamn dark shards. We're taking the walls! With our, with our arse ladders. It's actually uh, something I commented on Reddit. Was someone saying about how all the maps look basically the same, or like flat fleetures planes, and uh, uh, my comment was basically, yeah, I mean, it's because 
Otherwise, you know, the AI doesn't know how to deal with it. And unfortunately, they... My guess is... My guess is that the, the upper management have decided that the AI is fine. And because they just copy and paste the game from one to the other, the AI has been, at best, tweaked in the last, like, I want to say 10 years. So the developers, the poor bastard developers, have just fallen into this idea that if we just make the game more sympathetic to the AI, like build it around the fact that the AI can only do certain things, that'll make it more fun. Because there's no budget to go on to AI, right? They're just like, no, we're not, we're not spending more money on AI. It's, it's, it's fine. It's, it's not broke. It ain't broke. Don't fix it. So, um... You get things like the arse ladders, because the AI doesn't know how to use siege equipment, so they do that. You end up with big flat features planes, because the AI does not know how to deal with any terrain on, on a map. It barely knows how trees... I don't think it even knows that trees hide units. Like, it never tries to hide units in trees, does it? If, if, it, if it manages to flank you unexpectedly, it's pure blind luck. And this is kind of the issue. Oh, look at this burning head. This is good. This is very good. Oh, and right back at him, the old, the old reverso. And again, oh, it's hot, hot jam. Like a pop tart, just, just biting into a pop tart. Just out, that, just come out of the toaster. It's a terrible idea. Never do that. You may as well just guzzle napalm for all the good it's going to do you. It's basically the same thing. Blackguard pushing back. The clan rats on the wall. Easily. Very nice. However, we have a slight issue. That slight issue is this guy. Because he is a warlock engineer. And he has this spell, Warp Lightning, which is a bullshit. That spell sucks. By which I mean it does a lot of damage. The AI spams the shit out of it. You know, it's like burning head. Um, so we've managed to... Malekith and and Hagreen have managed to take out the gates by themselves. Good job. Thereby removing any need for a ram. In fairness, if we had a ram, it probably would have reached the gate and knocked it down before then. But that would have taken another turn. Realistically, would it have saved that much time? No. Right, so this guy's coming into range now. That's a problem. Because as soon as he gets into range, he'll target the largest con largest blob of my boys, and he will lightning the shit out of them. He has more lightning up his armpits than Emperor Palpatine. And that fucker knew how to lightning people. He's all like, unlimited power! No! Oh, fuck! Oh, it does so much damage! Look! Oh, fuck! How many kills did you get? 27. 27 off one spot. Immediately I panic and start trying to get my boys off the wall. I'm like, oh fuck! What like engineer! I moved Malekith to try and engage him because I'm like, nope, he needs to die. He needs to die now. Also, I hadn't realised Malekith has picked up an item. He's picked up some sort of uh, a web of shadows. He's gone a bit Spider Man, but apparently it works really well on characters. So, uh. Pretty nasty. Oh, fuck! Run! Run! Oh, I mean, even then, it still did, like, ludicrous. I mean, fuck, just go away! Stop it! So we're trying to bring him down, bring Malekith over, but he's also fighting this, uh, this unit of clan rats, which apparently is a general. So the plan is, basically, we create a cordon around the wall, we bring the, the dark shards up onto the wall, and then use the wall to kill all the Skaven currently trying to pummel in and, uh, and deal with us. Uh, the, the, you know what? This, this, this thing, this fucking ability, actually, really quite nasty. You only get one use, but... Woo. Ow. Fuck oh, off. Oh, it does so much damage. That fucking spell. It's just... Oh, it's just, oh, so mean. So mean. Now, th this is where you kind of think, the AI really should recognise it's lost the walls, right? It should recognise that and it should pull back. Pull back to another defensive position. Force me to come into the city, right? Because that's what it should do. It doesn't do that. What it does is it spotted, it's lost this gatehouse here. 
so it will pile units into the walls, desperately trying to retake them. Ah, fucking god damn it. 83 kills. To be honest, his spells have been wildly out of range, off target. That's the one, off target. Like if, he, if, he, if he targeted like a large blob like this, he would have done significantly more damage. Malekith needs to kill him before he does more spells. He's already up to 88 kills. I don't need him getting more. Yeah, so realistically they should pull back, build towers, pummel me with them. They're not going to do that. Managed to mostly dodge that. And our Dark Shards are now on the wall. Malekith is beating up Lightning Boy. It's kind of like that bit where, where Darth Vader kicks the shit out of Emperor Prapatine, isn't it? Because Malekith is very Sith Lord, isn't he? He's got that big, I mean, he's got the big helmet on, he's a bit raspy. Smells like old shoes, that kind of thing. Likes wearing black. Only has one wardrobe, out of necessity. So apparently, right, Malekith is... You, you would think, right, from, from his whole stance and stuff, that he's... Uh, He's not, he's not super into Tinder, but apparently he's, uh, actually, can you actually see him? Hang on, I've never noticed this, but hang on. Oh yeah, you can see he's got a little, you can see him all burnt there. That's fun. Anyway, apparently he is like the, the daddy of quite a lot of the, the Dark Elf nobility. Because he does apparently fuck. And uh, how does he do that? I'm assuming some sort of flap. Because that armor doesn't take it off. So, um flaps there we go I, 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 I guess when you're like a malevolent evil you don't necessarily have to really be super sexy maybe that is the sexy everyone likes a bad boy right and I mean can you get badder than him no I mean he's literally a, a sociopath murderer mass murderer with his own empire he has his own massive black citadel that's got to be quite an aphrodisiac I guess maybe I don't know Mind you, he and his mother are close, so probably not worth thinking about. Anywho, so we are, as I said, taking the walls, getting them crossbows up there. Here we go. They get the extra range. They've got 150 range, and they can start picking off rats that start advancing on us. And again, we just basically now have to sit here as we whittle them down. We've killed about 1,700 of them. Just need to kill off another about 1,000. They'll probably break and run. Dark Shades taking a bit of damage here, but overall, it seems to be going fine. You know, we do, I mean, the Scheme of Slaves are pretty, pretty naff. I keep, I keep moving my Dark Shards around, trying to get them into better position. I mean, Clan Rats are never really going to be able, I mean, okay, Bleak Swords aren't great, I'll level with you. However, even if they're not great, they're still better than clan rats, especially when they're being covered by dark shards. So we've got a little blob. I mean, this is this is a bit of a mess over here. They're like all over the place. The Malekith is there to help out. The dark shards are getting into position, and they can give us a little bit of cover. I didn't think this battle would be particularly difficult. The only problem is it's on this siege map. Which, as stated, I fucking hate. Thankfully, it looks like army losses are taking effect. And we have beaten the garrison. Okay, that was fine. We've got the standard of Hagrief, which is okay. 
I am really only 199. I was hoping for a little bit more, to be honest. But okay, fine, whatever. Taken Rack to Gorge, which is of minimal usefulness, usefulness because it's in a mountain, which is rubbish. Never mind. Let us. Oh, you know what? I'm going to recruit a couple of you because, to be honest, our Dark Shards took zero damage during that fight. Which is exactly what we want. Um, a Rat Catcher. Great. Just what I wanted. Right, we'll get some. Ooh, you know what? I'm going to. Mm, you know what? I'm going to get Kindle Flame. I really now. Uh, what do we have? Shock Tech Mount. Okay, Shock Tech Mount is owned by the Ogres, so that's fine. You are probably still Skaven riddled. I'll worry about that in a minute. I think we've killed most of our armies. I'm just a little bit concerned about Grom Rindle. I suspect he might go for us at any second. He's a little bit cranky about what happened previously. See? See? What's he doing? What's he doing? Hmm? Why is he coming down here? Hmm? What's he doing? What's he up to? Hmm. I reckon we can take him. Do we do that? What's the garrison like here? Okay, that's kind of beefy. Do we go for it? I think we do. I think we go and kill him. Because if we don't kill him... If we don't kill him now, he'll be a problem later. I reckon we kill him now. I mean, there are still rats down here. But this is the perfect time to kill him. But then there's rats down here. But this is the perfect time. But there's rats down here. Maybe I just leak. Because, I mean, Kargoth Deep. We will at who are, are you at war with? The, no, you're at war with the Slaughterhorn Lord. tribe, which are another problem to deal with. Um, God, there's so many problems to deal with. Honestly, it's not good to be the king. It's shit. Fuck it. Fuck it. Yeah, we're doing it. Wait, who are you at war with? Talk if you must. It won't change your fate. Maybe if we wipe out... Because if we... Right. If we kill these guys... He might he might be heading down here to deal with them. In which case... We could then lure him down... Oh. Wait. Oh, maybe... Maybe... Oh, I'm... Um, because there's... It's so such shitty territory. Um, okay. In that case, what I'm going to do... I'm going to merge these guys. And then I'm going to recruit another one. Get rid of you. Recruit another one. That's how we used to replenish in the old days. Kids. Fellow kids. Yeah, you are right there, aren't you? Oh, you're over there. You're hot. Oh, I really really irks me when you do that. Okay, so we can take this, but you're now hopping around, which means you can probably attack one of my undefended settlements. Um, I could just sack that, because I don't really want it. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to occupy it. That means you no longer have a house, right? However, it means you can probably attack any one of these minimally defended settlements. There's not really much I can do about it, apart from chase you around the map. Uh, we'll go Sheaf Master, because again, anything that increases... Uh, dark Shards are the uh, the saving grace of the early Dark Elf campaign. Okay, what if we recruited... We could recruit another, another boy, couldn't we? We could recruit a... I mean, High Beast Master... Uh, they're, they're, so, Dreadlords and Ladies are fine, however... High Beast Masters are basically the same, except they've got slightly different stats. But the important thing is, they basically get everything they get, plus they give bonuses to large monsters. So, I'm going to say let's get let's get Ian. Ian. Ian the Dark Elf. Ian, why so glum? You look so sad. Yes, good. Okay, good. Get some crossbows. You, you might need them. There's rats in them the hills. So good luck dealing with that. Uh, I wouldn't mind some more. What are you? You're quite sad, but you're not too sad. You're sad, not sad enough. I, you know what, money. Right. 
if we can hunt down Grombringle, I'm hoping Grombringle might come, still come towards us. We put the septic claw. Oh, they've been obliterated. Not oh, good. Well, that's less of, a, less of a problem for me, isn't it? Okay, you're over there. Oh, hello. Hello, friend. Uh, if I... Welcome. The Black Court will hear you now. I need... I need this. Oh, God, really? It is done. I'm just trying not to piss you off, but... I just need... Look, let me just... If I just... To be honest, this could be good good slave income. This is something we could be... This could be useful. This could be very useful. Um... So it gives more melee attack, gives evasion, which is more melee defense and speed. You know what? I'm going to pop that on my black guards. Yeah. Yeah, let's go with that. We have been. We have been using magic. That's right. We've been incinerating, haven't we? We've been using burning heads. That green's very good with a burning head. Managed to kill 34 people with burning head already. I say people, I mean Skaven. Um, most of these are, I think, Skaven slaves, which means I'm just going to let my Dark Shards pretty much do all the heavy lifting. Because killing rats takes a long time otherwise. Killing the enemy general should be a priority, assuming we can catch him. There's a little burning head, which actually, actually, pretty good. Tell you what, I, I feel like burning head lasts longer these days. Maybe that's just me, but it seems it just, it's like a Duracell bunny. It just keeps going and going. Look at it go. This is only a single cast. I didn't bother overcasting because overcasting just increases armor piercing damage, which, you know, clan rats don't have any armor, that is. Scaven slaves have even less. Do they? I would assume so. Um, Scaven slaves, zero armor. Yeah. Yeah, they don't have any. Malekith moving out to meet the Skaven general in single combat. Dark shards covering both of them with liberal crossbow bolt fire. Going to hit him with the web of shadows, which is going to make him run away and also take a lot of damage. Maybe don't shoot Malekith in the back, boys. He doesn't like it. Big Swords tanking the clan rats there. Doing fairly well. A little flanking force here, because of course the AI only knows one strategy and that is to flank as long and wide as possible and hope for the best. Fortunately for us, their front line should break long before we need any defence on the flank, although we do have, of course, our Cold One Chariots. I mean, don't get me wrong, I fucking love, love the old Cold Ones. They move so good. Look at them go. Just good. But uh, Chariots are... Like, where the fuck are these guys going? I mean, there's flanking and then there's popping down the shops for some milk. Dark Shards are cutting through any rats dares to come within range and of course once they've run away it does mean that any unit that returns the fight instantly gets to be the target of every single unit which is a bad time so they get liberally sprayed and then they run away again with less rats left flank holding out against some clan rat spearmen Yep, they're winning that engagement. That's fine. I mean, the clan rats are running all over. The enemy army's running all over the place. It's just a, it's just a mop-up operation now, really. Chariot's coming back. Just as that flank breaks. So the charge doesn't really do much. I know they're missile chariots, but I mean, you know, missile chariots. You know how many shots they have? Four. Well, actually, these guys have eight shots because they shoot two each. But still, it's not very. I mean, the missile strength is is high. How much is their strength? Um, 8 base, 24. Isn't that what these guys do? 
And they do 11. Okay, so it's slightly more, but still, really not great. So they're not going to kill anything. Oh well, never mind. Anyway, the enemy general now flees. He's shattered, which means the rest of his army will suffer a morale shock, and that should be enough to break them all. And of course, because they're marching, they're all dead anyway. Oh. Only 200... Is that it? 240? Come on. I was hoping for a little bit more of that. Alright, well... Oh, a Scarecrow banner. Best banner in the game, of course. Okay, you are kind of sad. What I might do... Welcome. The Black Court will hear you now. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna... Right, if I give you the Temple of Cain... You can declare war on them for me. And also give me a military alliance. And some money. At once. Now, you'll probably get killed by this by by old um Torok, but at least you'll keep him busy for a little while. Which is absolutely fine by me. Why the f oh god. Okay. You Grom Bringle. Will be remembered in another of my glorious sagas. Mm-hmm. Um, look, I've kind of got a lot on at the moment. Would you mind just staying chill for a minute while I desperately deal with Valkyr, who's currently heading this way and probably has a shit ton of really nasty units in her army? Nature's torment. Mm -hmm. I mean, on the plus side, at least she doesn't have any mi any won't have any missile units, will she? So it, it's the small thing. Also, you're very sad. We need to bolster that a little bit. You're also pretty sad. Um, keep the chin up. God, this is this is rough, isn't it? Grom Brindle, Skaven, Malekith used to have a very a fairly chilled start. Now, Jesus Christ, what? <laughs> He's just surrounded by people who hate his fucking guts. And of course, there's Valkyr, Grombrindle, and um, and the Skaven as well. That's a joke I about how much the, the Dark Elves Lord. infight. Get it? Anyway, um, right, you're probably going to die. The Cage Breakers. Oh, yeah, you're definitely going to die. Uh, but you know what? I will take military axe. Oh god, if I can kill Grombrindle early on, if I can, right, if I can send, I oh, promise you can jump over fucking mountains, can't you? Oh, that fucking underway stance. Fertility rights. Goods. Oh, less income. 10%. All buildings? You're shitting me. Which king? Are you... Who calls me? Who? Where are you going? My axe yearns to be plunged into your skull. Jeez. All right. All right. Look, chill. Okay? Look. I know... I know we've had our differences, but could we not... Do the whole plunging of things into other things, if at all possible. I look, look at these fucking guys They're just sitting right outside my settlement. God, that's such a fucking. I f he could, he could go outside of anyone's settlement. Why is he outside mine? Oh yes, that's right, because because I'm the player. Oh fuck, you're there as well. Okay, Raktu Gorge is is militarily fucked. Um, yeah, better go this way because you are still hippity hopping around. I think Ron Brindle's chasing you and you're just running away. Uh, I think you're probably running away more from me than anyone else, but... There we go! Tremble before the Witch King. Yes? Are you on a peace treaty? Um, well, seeing as I don't particularly care, sure. My powers are growing. Uh, I could... I could potentially... I could put. Um. Now is chaos. Right, you. Very well. I will hear your petition. Okay, I'm going to be honest. You're fucked, aren't you? Let's be let's be brutally honest with ourselves here. You've lost Garond. Valkyrie is heading in this direction. This is bad. You're sitting right outside my fucking city. Um. Okay. 
I reckon I could take Grom Brendel. If we take Grom Brendel... Or at least... Uh, problem is, like... It's a good time to kill his army. I mean, it's been a good time to kill his army a fair few times. But Valkyr, I can't... I probably don't have the time to go over to deal with this. But I could... Ooh, can you jump over me? I mean, probably. I could... Right. Fuck. I think killing Grom Brendel is going to be shorter than killing Valkyr. So... Fuck it. Let's go for it. Come on! Valiant defeat. Really? Really? Okay. Well, you don't, well, you know, you do have flying units. I don't think it's going to have much help, but I'm sure you, for no particular reason. Okay. Okay. I mean, sure. Shield your eyes, children, because this snow is blinding. Look how fucking bright that is. Jesus Christ, it's making my eyes hurt just trying to look at it. Malekith, you've already got third degree burns. Don't go into the sun. You'll get sunburn. It's going to be rough. Uh, the, the burning head does not much damage, to be honest. Malekith is going to jinx back and forward. Trying to dodge the enemy fire as we pick up. They've deployed in the long column again. Um... Someone did say, oh, I've never seen this before, but I've, I've definitely seen people comment about, oh yeah, I, I see my my AI do this as well. They don't do it all the time. It's just sometimes, and I don't know why. And, I mean, it could be mods, but I'm fairly sure I saw them doing it when I wasn't, uni I mean, I could, when I wasn't using any mods. I mean, I could be wrong, but... Like, all the people I've seen say, oh yes, they, they do that a lot. I can't... I can't believe we're all using the same mod. Particularly because I use different ones, depending on the campaign, so... Unless it's Rebanner 2, or 3, or whichever one it is. Which is a go-to for me. Because otherwise, banners are shit. So, the first little line, the Dwarf Warriors there. Shot to pieces, which is good. I've got some Dwarf Warriors with great weapons. They, of course, don't have shields, so they'll be easier to kill. But we've also got some Iron Drakes heading in. And uh, those guys, they will do a shit ton of damage if allowed. Which means we're going to have to... They are a primary target. As soon as they get into range, I'm going to fill them with so many fucking crossbow bolts. Yeah, you can see those those great, the great weapons. Not so hot. But the Iron Drakes seem to be moving... I don't know what they're doing. They seem to be moving away onto the flank. We've targeted them with crossbows. I'm hoping to get a volley into them. There we go. There we go. That armor piercing. Yeah. Oh, that's good stuff. Didn't actually kill many of them, but I imagine they're all on quite low health. They're actually not super happy about that, which is I'm trying to get some spell off. Didn't really do too much, but that's fine. I wasn't expecting too much. But they are pretty much almost dead, which is good. Meanwhile, crossbows are going to be my primary weapon against the dwarves because they're all really heavily armored. And, of course, against Grom Brindle, because he's unbreakable and basically unkillable. Um, Grom Brindle in my Grom Brindle campaign was an absolute murder horn and would rip people apart in, in no time. Which means we are going to just... Mal Malekith does not stand a chance against Grom Brindle. Grom Brindle will open him up like a tin can. So we are going to target him with everything we've got. But first, these gyrocopters... Need to be brought down before they drop bombs on my head. Thank you. That's it. Go and die. Down you go. That's it. Get the fuck out. I think they managed to drop one. Was that one bomb or did that? Did the gyrocopter just fall on them? I can't remember. You can barely see Malekith as he's running through the blinding snow. But we're moving in to try and intercept Grom Brindle. Drop the web of thingy majig on his head. And it drops it on everyone's head. Um, but it's particularly useful against against characters. Unfortunately, I, I got a little bit carried away and forgot that Malekith would be super fucking annihilated by Grom Brindle. And unfortunately, Malekith is now getting his ass handed to him. So we need to get him out of there. And we need to focus the crossbow because Grom Brindle's now got, got the scent of Malekith. He's like, come here. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Oh, no, you didn't shoot him quickly enough. I mean, that's pretty much on you. Malekith getting a sneaky little shot in there. Takes a hit in return. We just, we need to keep him, him off kilter. Off kilter. That's it. Shoot him full of crossbow bolts. What's this thing? Oh, he's got the rune of speed. Lovely, which means he can... Oh, Malekith, run! Run, Malekith, run! <laughs> Malekith, he's all over you. Run away. Oh, my God. Fuck. Go away. Shoot. Go on, fuck off. Go away. Shoot. Leave me alone. Leave... No, bugger off. No, go... Go... 
Shoot him. Shoot him with the crossbow. Come on. Kill, kill him. Kill him. Run, Malekith. Run. Serpentine. Serpentine. Oh, thank fuck for that. He's dead. <sighs> okay, with Grom Bringle's death, we can now focus on taking out the rest of his army. However, Grom Bringle's death has sent shivers of panic throughout the Dwarven army. Our chariot's moving in from behind, and there we go. We can see wavering. And finally, the Dwarven army breaks. Okay, hoping for big 278. I mean, that's not bad. Oh, and a scroll of black horror. That is pretty good. And we can get 239 additional. Oh. That's more like it. And now Malekith won't have to run away from Grombin. Right, he can run away. But he's he's got his nice little he's got something a little bit quicker than on he's just had to run away on his feet. He can he can run away on a a thingy majig, a cold one. So that is better. I'm gonna get dreaded slaver, because I really want big slave action. Uh sure. Oh, Okay, that's looking a little bit better. Diplomatic relations with all factions. Weird that the Dark Elves get that. They get the Envoy. What do, what do we get an Envoy for? Did it say what we get the Envoy for? Uh, equipment gains. Ranked after winning four or more offensive battles and started a war. Okay. Fine. That seems an interesting way of doing that, but... Fine. Uh, you can have a scroll of shielding for all the good that'll do you. Uh, we'll go with the Vermeer Bale Fiend. Sure. I do like stealing magic items. Okay. We are going to go evasion. And then what we're going to do is what we're going to do is we're going to build you. Now, could I rush that? I could. Okay, so here's my thinking. We could, we could send Ian, Grumpy Ian, he's like Grumpy Cat, <gasps> that's an even better name, Grumpy Cat, because he looks like the Grumpy Cat, from the memes, he really does have the same face, <laughs> holy shit, what a fucking idiot, anyway, um, right, so what we could do, what we could do is we could send Grumpy Cat to defend Hark Aldra. we could rush the the settlement here build a wall here to defend right so once we got once we've got a beefy garrison here i don't think valkyr can can probably take that so then we could concentrate on dealing with the dwarves alternatively we could build up ian grump sorry grumpy cat grumpy cat's army um to defend against potential dwarven aggression because i feel like once we've knocked out their army um they're probably Your on the back foot a little bit only strength rank 44. Holy shit, how are you still a higher strength rank than me? <laughs> what the fuck? I've literally just exterminated your main army and you've still got a higher strength rank than me. Fuck off. Unless it updates the end of turn, I don't know. Anyway, the point is, we, we could do that, right? Well, that's an option. So, here's the two options. Either we, we build up our defences in the Iron Foothills and then go and mop up Grom Brindle. Alternatively, we just hold Grom Brindle at arm's length while we we go and lay into Valkyr, because I think that's going to probably, probably going to be a slightly longer invasion, particularly because we're going to have to deal with these guys as well, um, because they are probably vassals of... Yes, so they're going to come down and attack us as well. They can come down here and here, and of course Valkyr will be coming down here. I, th I feel like doing, Speak, doing this now... Will probably help out with kind of like saving. I mean, alternatively, if we go off and deal with Grom Brindle, by the time we come back, maybe these guys will be dead, and we'll have plenty more real estate to come. To be honest, the Dark Elves do not seem to be doing very well. Um, well, maybe. Are you doing okay? Ask you to be quick. We do not tolerate. You know what? They might be doing all right for themselves. Maybe. I mean, if they can, if they can hold all this lot at bay. You might be doing okay. Yeah, so the poll for next time for supporters is going to be uh, do we go after Valkyr or do we go after the, the dwarves? And uh, if you would like to follow the campaign along, you can do that by either joining YouTube as a, one of my channel members or you can go to Patreon and sign up there. It's like a quid and a month and you get access to all the campaign as it happens and you get to vote on the polls and stuff. Until next time, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you 
in the next episode.